It is prestigious and desirable, practical and dynamic, handsome and recognizable. But it has one very big drawback, the high price. However, there is a way out, since the X5 is rapidly losing value, it is profitable to buy it second hand. In Ukraine, this model has already become a landmark, and the second generation, among other things, has significantly increased in size and wheelbase. This made it possible to place a third row of seats in the cabin. However, despite the increase in size, the car is still a dynamic crossover with excellent driving performance and exemplary handling. It was offered with six-cylinder 3-liter engines, a 3.0-liter petrol, 272 horsepower, two 3.0-liter turbo diesels, 235 and 286 horsepower, as well as a 4.8-liter gasoline V8 355 horsepower on this generation. The X5 stopped using manual transmissions, only automatic six-speed production from ZF. An X-Drive all-wheel drive transmission with a multi-plate front-wheel drive clutch was installed as standard on all versions. In normal driving in a straight line, the clutch is partially closed, which ensures that about 40% of the torque is transmitted to the front axle. Moreover, in real time, the electronics constantly changes the degree of clutch blocking transferring traction to those wheels that have more reliable grip. All cars, regardless of their origin, will be equipped quite adequately. For example, the Base X5 is a five-seat car that includes climate control, electric drive for all four heated windows and mirrors, six airbags, ABS with axle force distribution, dynamic stabilization and emergency stop systems, an audio system, heated seats, alloy wheels, X-Drive all-wheel drive transmission and much more. Used copies will certainly be more generously stocked. After all, as a rule, when buying, the first owner tries to stuff everything that is possible into his X5. For example, almost all secondary cars will be with Xenon headlights, leather interior, power seats and steering wheel, advanced multimedia system and navigation. The technical arsenal of the crossover includes about a dozen optional electronic systems, adaptive drive, adjusts the stiffness of the front and rear stabilizers, active steering, active steering, X-Drive and I-Drive, dynamic stability control and electronic gear selector. All these gadgets are expensive and, as it turned out, periodically fail. The BMW X5 is crammed with modern electronics to the eyeballs, which over time can create problems for the owner. On the gasoline 6 after 100,000 kilometers, the membrane of the crankcase ventilation valve dries up. Due to a failed pump, thermostat and clogged radiator, the motor overheats with all the ensuing consequences. Parts of an intake manifold length change block worn out to 150,000 km can get into the engine, so you can't pull it with repairs. The airflow meter and the electronic throttle control unit fail. On a diesel engine, by 170,000 km, the torsional vibration damper of the crankshaft pulley wears out, and the steel exhaust manifold cracks. V8 is even more expensive to maintain. The weak links of the ZF6 horsepower machine are the torque converter and the clutch package. The chain is stretched in the transfer case. In the suspension to 50,000 km, the stabilizer struts die, the shock absorbers go twice as long. On all engines, the gas distribution mechanism uses a durable metal chain that lasts up to 250,000 km. Gasoline units consume a lot of oil, up to 1,000 grams per 1,000 km. They do not tolerate overheating which is why modern aluminum 6s have to change the head and cylinder block. A carrying owner of a ZF6 horsepower automatic transmission can also go 230,000 to 280,000 km, but in about half of used BMWs with automatic transmission, the torque converter and clutch pack may be worn out by 150,000 km. The hydraulic control unit and the oil pump are also at risk. The rear gearbox does not last long. It often collapsed at the start. In front suspension with McPherson struts, the stabilizer struts are the first to be updated, which serve an average of 30,000 to 50,000 kilometers. The wheel bearings withstand a little more, they change as an assembly with the hubs. After 100,000 kilometers, aluminum levers with silent blocks and ball bearings, as well as shock absorbers, are usually updated. In the multi-link rear suspension, the stabilizer links are updated every 30,000 to 60,000 kilometers. By 80,000 to 100,000 km, silent blocks of aluminum levers wear out. Shock absorbers often live up to 120,000 km. It must be remembered that after intervention in the chassis, it is necessary to set the camber and toe angles of the rear wheels. The body of the X5, thanks to high-quality metal and good workmanship, is reliably protected from corrosion. True, the chrome lining of the trunk lid and roof rails become cloudy from salt and chemicals. 
can jam the electric sunroof in the roof. Over time, the drainage holes in the A pillars also become clogged. Electrical equipment on the X5 is very complex and expensive to repair, although it is reliable. Over time, the power window control unit sometimes fails, the climate control electronics occasionally fail, and faulty seat heating can burn through the upholstery.